Hey guys, Hicks here for the Graffiti Network and today I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial on how I make this sort of metal panel um, layer style that you see I've used on a few backgrounds I've made recently. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I've made the actual layer style. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to go about making each shape and how to then rotate them in different ways to get this effect. I'm just going to show you how I made the layer style and if you want to see a tutorial on how to actually make each shape then leave a comment below and I will do that in the future. So first things first before you start doing the layer style you want to uh, open up a metal texture um, you can find these in loads of graphics packs like around or if you just search on Google like metal texture I'm sure you'll find loads so I'm just going to open this one I've got here you then want to select the whole uh, picture by hitting Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac on your keyboard. Then go to Edit and Define Pattern. Here you can just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Metal Texture. And then click OK. Um, one more thing that you need to make before you start doing the layer style is a sort of a diagonal strip pattern. So if you go File on New. Um, make the width 5, the height 5, uh, background contents make it transparent, uh, click OK. You then want to zoom in a lot <laughs> so you can actually see it, see what you're working with. And select the pencil tool, make sure it's on one pixel, make sure your colour's black. And then you just want to click in a, well you're basically just painting in a sort of a diagonal line just by uh, moving your mouse clicking. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So once you've done that you want to go to edit define pattern again this time um, name it anything you want again I'm just going to call it diagonal um, stripe if I can spell there we go diagonal stripe and then once you've done those two things you can then head over to your YouTube template if that's what you're making this style for, which I assume most of you are. And then we can start doing making the shape and start doing the layer style. So I want to make up a make a new layer and with your pen tool you just want to quickly make out a shape. As I said I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I'm doing this as it's not really what I'm focusing this tutorial on. But as I said before if you want to see a tutorial on this I'm more than happy to do that in, in the future. So once you've made a shape you want to then open up the blending options by right clicking, go into blending options or you can just double click on the layer whatever suits you. And then first effect we're going to add is a pattern overlay so you select that, uh, click the image, it'll probably be these little bubbles or whatever it is, just click it uh, this will enable you to choose the pattern and then just choose the metal texture that you just made. Um, you might want to change the scale depending on your image but I'm just going to leave it at 100 because that looks quite good. So once you've done that you want to then add a gradient overlay. Um, click this to get bring up the gradient editor. Once you've got that up you want to change this black colour to a dark grey because uh, you don't really want it completely black. It doesn't look as good. Um, make sure it's starts at the end and then also you want the end color to be a dark gray. Um, in the middle at about 35 percent you want it completely white and then either side of that about 45 so 10 percent each side of that so it'll be 45 and 25 you want it a sort of a mid gray about that um, I'm just going to make this a bit darker. There we go. And then select the blend mode to multiply. And then what's th what that has done is sort of added, made the sort of top and the bottom bit a bit darker, then added this nice sort of highlight in the middle. You might want to bring the scale down a bit. I'm going to bring it down to about 89, looks quite nice. So yeah, that's the. Um, Gradient overlay done. The next thing we want to add is satin. 
First things first, you want to make sure invert is unchecked. This will basically add the effect to the outer edges, not down the middle, which is, and we want it on the outer edge. So yeah, make sure invert is unchecked. Put the blend mode this time to color dodge, and put the color to white. Um, you want the um, distance to be down a bit to about 15. Size you want about 20. Change the angle to 90. Um, that will just make make it come from above, not however it was, like over here somewhere. Um, you might want to change the contour as well. I've I've used um, I've, I've tried out a few of them. My favourite one is probably rounded steps. It sort of just gives a nice sort of. Um, it's not quite as noticeable, I guess, as um, the others, which I think looks nicer. But I mean, you can play around with a few. So this one it doesn't look too bad. Um, most of them will look okay, but I think rounded steps for me. I like uh, nice. Once you've done this, it's personal preference. That effect, really, you can change. We want to then go over to inner shadow. Uh, we're going to use this as more of a highlight rather than a shadow. So we want the blend mode to be on overlay, color to be on white, uh, opacity drop it down a bit to about seventy. Yeah, about 70. Um, angle, untick, use global light and change it to 90. Uh, bring the distance down to about 2. And bring the size down as well to about 7. Yeah, that's quite good. Um, so, yeah, once you've done that, we want to uh, add a bevel and emboss. I think we'll do next. So first things first, you want to go on to texture and add that uh, diagonal texture that we made earlier. You want the depth all the way up as far as it goes, up to a thousand. Then, as you see, it doesn't look great at the moment, but we need to change a few of these settings in Bevel and Emboss first. So bring up the depth to about 250, it looks quite good. Uh, first things first, we want to change this gloss contour. Um, I don't really use a pre I don't use the presets for this one. I found one that I've made looks a lot better. So you want to click in the middle, then click again, like right right next to it, and then click another one, the other side of it. So you get that, bring that down a bit. It's hard to explain this, but if you just watch me, you can see the end result. About that. Okay, so it's sort of flat, then dips up, and then flans out a bit and then dips up to the corner. So once you've done that, you want to um, just adjust the the highlight mode and the shadow mode. Put the highlight mode to overlay. Put the shadow mode to hue. Um, you want to bring down the opacity on both of these. Uh, the uh, opacity on the overlay, I'll put it to about 30. And the opacity on the shadow will bring it down to about about 30 as well, I think. Well, um, now about 40. 40 looks good. Uh, the size, you might want to just bring this down a bit. Um, well, actually, bring it up a bit, I think, to about about 50 looks good. Okay, so once you've done that, as you can see, that's just given sort of a almost a scratched effect. Um, giving these lines across, across the um, across the shape uh, looks really nice, I think. So once you've done that, you then might want to adjust the scale of it a bit, bring it down a bit. But I mean, it's up to you. I'm probably I'm just going to leave it at 100. Um, but if you if you think it will look better making it smaller, then make it smaller. I mean, this is really going to be your layer style, so. You can change any of these settings that I'm telling you to how you think looks the best. Okay, so once you've added the bevel, um, we want to add outer glow. We're going to use this as uh, like a, a shadow. So you want to select the color, put it to black. Uh, select the blend mode, put it to normal. Uh, 
drop the opacity down to about 70 again. Um, spread, leave it at zero. Size, just bring down to about about 10. About not, yeah, 9, 9, 10. That looks good. Uh, next thing you want to add is an actual drop shadow. This is just going to sort of enhance the shadow we just made. Uh, make it a bit darker. To net, like ma it makes it a bit darker, um, just around the the metal panel. So uh, select the blend mode, put it to normal. It should already be on black. Um, opacity, put that to about seventy. Uh, use global light, untick that, and put the angle to ninety. Change this distance to quite small, um, probably about seven, six or seven. And then the size, drop it down a bit to about nine, and the spread, whack it up to about eighteen, around twenty. I think will look good. I'm going to leave mine at eighteen. Um, and then the last thing you want to add is an inner glow. This will just give a final sort of highlight to the edges. So we want to put the color to white, the blend mode to overlay the opacity down a bit and the size down to about 4 drop the opacity down a bit more to about 50 ok there we go that is pretty much the layer style um, that's the, those are all the effects I use um, you can add things change things, take them away um, whatever you want to do really I mean at the end of the day you're going to be using on this on backgrounds you make, so you want it to look how you, uh, you want it to look the way you want it to look, basically. So these are the settings, pretty much the settings I use. Um, so you can change them in any way you want, really. Um, that is pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go into much detail on how I create. Uh, the background like this, I mean, this has had quite a lot of work done. You see I've made a ton of shapes, uh, rotated them in different ways, overlapped them in different ways, added a few diff extra things. So if you want a, a tutorial on anything that you see in this background or anything that you've seen me done really in any of the speed arts I've done, I'll be more than happy to do any, any tutorials really. I want to start doing a few more tutorials like this. Um, and I want to try and get better at them really. Uh, I hope this has been alright and yeah just leave a comment uh, saying if you want to see any more tutorials uh, give me a comment saying what I can improve on in any tutorials I do in the future but apart from that guys I will see you in the next video. See ya!